Hey, what's going on guys? Horror here. Welcome back to the channel. And before we begin today's video, I would like to give a shout out to all my patrons. Without you guys, I would not have the motivation to keep this channel going. So, thank you very much. And anyone who is currently subscribed or seen my views in the past, a great shout out to you as well. I really appreciate your ongoing support. Now, we've been playing Splitgate. I played probably almost 12 hours yesterday and I'm absolutely in love with this game. I've been goaded on the 6 for the past 20 years. I come from a Call of Duty Halo background. So this game is second nature to me. I'm very, I grew up on arena shooters and this is just that. So pretty much it's Halo and then you put Portal War or Portal Runner together into a game and this is what you get. Or if you prefer the, uh, the Rick and Morty analogy. So it's pretty much Halo with a Rick and Morty portal gun. It's the most fun game I've played in quite some time. I'm not going to lie to you fellas. So why should you even listen to me? Well, I played this for about tw 12 hours. Oof, English hard today. And uh, I did have a 3.2 KD yesterday, but I did go AFK for like three matches in a row. But uh, yeah, so we're at 2.5 KD right now. Not too shabby. Of course, I'm playing against a lot of the newer players as well. So that factors into it. But this kind of gives you an idea that I'm, I'm not super noob, you know, at the, at the genre. I kind of know what I'm talking about. So kind of go over some of what I feel are some of the best settings now there's not a you know, disclaimer obviously there's not a best setting that you absolutely have to use or else and this is just me having a controller background I'm playing on PC right now but this is for you guys if you need a good place to start now let me preface this by saying whenever I played Call of Duty kind of back in the day Black Ops 1 and 2 and Modern Warfare I always played in max sensitivities I cannot play at max sensitivity on this game. There's not enough aim assist to compensate, so you do have to kind of tone down your uh, sensitivities to compensate. Now, uh, the first thing I want to go over is the, uh, the uh, video settings. I always have it in full screen if you're on PC. If you're on Xbox or PlayStation, that really doesn't matter. I don't think you have a field of view slider nor F, uh, FPS uh, slider as well. The field of view essentially just kind of zooms your character out. The higher your field of view, the more you can see and it feels like you're turning uh, slightly less uh, in both directions. So can't play around with this. I keep mine personally at 90, um, especially with the uh, the longer distance fights. It's really kind of hard to see your, your headshot hitbox. So if you have this zoomed out too far, like it's really hard to tell um, where some of the figures are in the background depending on the, uh, the longevity of the map. Of course, Colorblind settings. Uh, I know some people will swap to uh, Tritonopia. Uh, colorblind setting. This just uh, makes everything yellow instead of red. Makes things a little bit easier to see, especially when it comes to uh, the portals. But for now, I'm just leaving mine at uh, default. I'm leaving the colorblind sensitivity complete alone. If you're an elitist, you can play around with this to kind of you know help you play around portals and such better. But uh, for now, I'm just leaving that completely alone. Now, when we come over to controller auto sprints, an absolute must. Sprint is kind of bugged in this game a little bit because I'll notice I'll start running and then I'll just stop running. It'll just start walking again and you have to let go of the analog and press forward again in order to reset it. Um, I play inverted. No, you don't have to play inverted, obviously. I grew up on Star Fox, so um, I'm used to like uh, airplane controls, you know, up is down, down is up. Vibration. The only reason I have vibration on is to keep track of my shots. For example, like the BR and the, the, uh, the carbine have a global cooldown in between shots. This just helps me better time out the shots better for a maximum uh, time to kill. Uh, when it comes to sensitivities, again, I personally used to play on the absolute highest sensitivity when it comes to COD and Halo. Um, I actually have to turn this down to 12. This isn't a, a boots on ground game. It kind of is, but there's a lot of verticality to it as well. So it's important for you to have a more controlled sensitivity. This game does not have an advanced look control option so you can't really fine tune you know how these curves work so uh, for now we're just gonna go with the 12 and 11 vertical sensitivity um, acceleration sensitivity I put this always down to zero if you want that halo-esque feel you'll put this down to zero zoom multiplier again this is uh, directly dependent on your horizontal and vertical sensitivity right now right now I have mine at 0.6 it may change depending on uh, what you guys prefer and um, your play style really you know if you're like a running gun you like jump in the middle of people that you know zoom sensitivity really isn't a, a too big a deal whereas you know if you want to kind of stay back and poke people uh, zoom sensitivity will uh, greatly come into play uh, inner dead zones and outer dead zones uh, this is just uh, how much your analogs drift uh, this is de dependent on your controller and make a model and how much worn how many times you toss it against the fucking wall so i play around with this until uh, actually go into training play around with this to where your look is completely centered and doesn't like, kind of drift around from side to side 
Now, when it comes to UI, uh, there are a couple things in here I want to mention. The, the crosshair color and enemy color crosshairs, I would almost change uh, this red one to like a blue, to be honest, because uh, I'll give you an example. So when you're looking through portals, the enemy portal, if you see someone on the opposite side of the portal, your crosshair will actually light up. And when you're looking through a red portal and it lights up red, it's really hard to see the crosshair to see if there's an enemy targeting you through the portal. So in addition to that, I've added, uh, they actually have a lot of reticles for each gun. It's phenomenal. There's probably 15 different options here. Um, you can go through and see what you like, but I personally like the crosshair small. The reason I like the crosshair small um, compared to like the dot, I know a lot of elitists are going to use dots, for example, but again, when you're looking at someone's portal and someone is on the other side camping you, this will light up. Now, if you just have a dot, uh, it's really hard to see uh, whether it lights up or not. So, I always go with the crosshair small, and the reason. Again, I like this is because I played a lot of Black Ops 2 and then the Ballista, one of my favorite guns of all time, has this crosshair, so here we are. I standardize my crosshairs across the board just to, you know, familiarize myself with it. Now, if you guys have a preference on shotguns, you want a big ass circle, you know, you know, you know, more power to you, circle with a dot. Again, preference, okay? But I personally like the crosshair small. It's an X, it lights up when you need it to, and again, you can change that light up color by going into your UI tab and going down to crosshair color and changing it to blue or green or whatever color you want to make with the, uh, the RGB spectrum, entirely up to you. But that is my setup. Now when it comes into the actual game, most of this is just going to be you know a little bit of quick scoping. But so it really depends on your playstyle as well, what you want to be doing. For me, I like to snipe and quick scope, so it's really important that you have a really nice sensitivity. Now, one other tip: your hitbox. So I don't know if I can show it. So I want to have the crosshair slightly off. Let's go slightly more. You see the hitbox still hits, and now it doesn't light up. Now I believe. If you zoom in for a second, look at that. It actually hits. So this is some of the advanced tips I want to go into in a later on video. You see right here, there's no scope screen. I shoot, it does not hit. If I zoom in, uh, let's let's get a little bit closer to target, where it's just slightly off centered. So right here, it's not going to hit. I'm not going to move my aim whatsoever. I'm going to shoot. Now I'm going to zoom in and shoot. When you zoom in, you actually have a higher or bigger hitbox. So go figure. That's just some of the uh, the elitist uh, game mechanics in Splitgate. I'm sure there's a lot more like it. That's just something I have discovered um, between playing this game over and discovered this, you know, the the past 12 hours. So hopefully, what I presented in today's video really helps you guys out to kind of where to start. This is an absolutely amazing game love it the portals will take a little while to get used to if you're kind of familiar but if you guys have played this for years by all means leave me tips and tricks down in the comments i would honestly love to learn all of this i haven't played ranked i'm sure i'll be doing that this week as well so if you want to stay tuned for that to see me get absolutely dumpstered in some ranked uh please hit the bell icon i'm sure it'll be a great time i'll be streaming it as well so you definitely be around to catch that so this has been Horcrux. Uh, thank you for watching today's video. And again, a shout out to all my Patreons. I really appreciate you guys. And I hope everyone has a wonderful evening. Take care.